So by mistake, I was trying to open a water bottle and cut my finger and the blood doesn't seem to stop. It was a deep cut, apparently. Just trying to suck it in, put it in some snow or whatever, but to keep going. So we reached the campsite. There's a tent over there. Some kind of structure, not sure what, but this is where I'll be camping tonight. So it's 7.45 right now. And me and Tank, we started at 11.30 this morning and we did a 20 mile day, which is pretty good. Calculated the pace and it was over 3.2 miles per hour without including the brakes. And today, unfortunately, I cut my finger with this blade, with the knife. So there was a lot of bleeding happening for like three, four hours, three hours. I was just sucking, sucking it up while hiking all the way. Just thinking that I could fix it once I reached the camp. And I did it with the help of others. It's all good. No pain. And it's dinner time. Having couscous, Cheetos. And my friend Tank here is having some gnar pasta. <laughs> That's the update for the day. 80 more miles to go to Wrightwood. This was where I camped yesterday night. Just broke in the camp, packed up everything. And now I just need to use the toilet over there and head back on the trail. Officially 300 miles done on PCT. Triple century right there. Happy for everything. Buddy Tank is crossing the river. I just crossed it. I'm completely wet and cold. Sure, he can make it. It's nothing. He was in the military before. That's how the river crossing looks like on the PCT. It's dangerous, you all. You gotta be mentally prepared. Nice. I made a stupid mistake yesterday night. Usually, what I do every night is I remove this water filter and then I put it inside my sleeping bag and sleep. So usually when it's cold outside, it doesn't freeze. In the water filter, there's usually water goes, right? So the water freezes when it's extremely cold outside. For that factor, I always keep it inside the sleeping bag. Yesterday night, it was not really that cold, so I thought it's fine and I just left it out. But instead of leaving it out, I actually left it on top of my water bottle. And then the morning I woke up, it was literally, the bottle was like this. And dig a hole inside my tent and the bottle fell on the other side and it was, it was a mess. So it took an hour for me to repair the whole thing. I had to fix it up with the tape. I hope it holds together. It's strong, but we'll find out in a day or two. It happens. So I just realized what really happened yesterday night. 
you see this thing? This is my food packet and it's on right here. So it means it was a rodent. It was not my water bottle, it was not my mistake. And a stupid rodent came in, came, put a hole inside my tent and came inside, took the packet out and just like ate it. It was a mob donation or something, I don't know. It's really stupid.